Hello, 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 and welcome to Poetry and Writing Prompts in the Park. This is Julie Jordan Scott, and I'm so glad that you're here. Hi. Hi, Kim. I'm inside one of my favorite parks um, here in Bakersfield, relatively unknown. It's called um, the Kern River Parkway. It's one of the Kern River Parkway parks. And um, San Miguel Commemorative Grove is to my left, to the south of me. And um, where I'm standing right now is kind of what I call an underbelly place. Um, I won't tell you what's on the ground near my feet, but it is an underbelly place and it is a magical place, as oftentimes those two go hand in hand. Um, today we're going to be reading a poem by Louise Gluck, and I hope I pronounced her surname correctly. Maybe it's Gluck? I don't know if any of you are fans of Louise Gluck or Gluck. Just put the correct pronunciation in the bottom or in the comments. I wanted to share with you the prompt first and how this works is I'll give you the prompt now um, and then you may choose to simply contemplate it for the rest of the day or you might write it on the top of the page and then let your thoughts flow stream of consciousness style when we're done. Um, you may write while I am reading, whatever fits you. My name is Julie Jordan Scott. Um, I am a creative life coach here in Bakersfield, California. I work to inspire artistic rebirth in people. And um, so I am thrilled when people join in and are inspired by the work that we do together. So we'll, what I'll do is I'll give you the prompt, which is more than anything in the world, I love these dot dot dot. More than anything in the world, I love these dot dot dot. More than anything in the world, I love these. This poem is called Quiet Evening and it's based partially on mythology, which you'll hear in the poem itself. So please take a deep breath and listen to the words of Louise Gluck. You take my hand, then we're alone in the life-threatening forest. Almost immediately we're in a house. Noah's grown and moved away. The clematis after 10 years suddenly flowers white. More than anything in the world, I love these evenings when we're together. The quiet evenings in summer. The sky still light at this hour. So Penelope took the hand of Odysseus, not to hold him back, but to impress this piece on his memory. From this point on, the silence through which you move is my voice pursuing you. That is Quiet Evening by Louise Gluck. The prompt, again, is more than anything in the world, I love these. Welcome as you're joining us. Thank you for the hearts. If you've never been here before and you're interested in writing and poetry and just being inspired creatively, please follow me. Just um, press the Perry guy, Perry person in the corner, and up will pop, I'll pop. <laughs> if you'd like to share this with your followers, we're about to start reading a second time. So if you have friends who enjoy poetry and who enjoy writing and you think might uh, appreciate and savor these words, please do invite them because the more people who are inspired, the better the world will be, right? Because that's what I'm about, really, is inspiring world change through creativity. All right, oh, it feels so good to be out here. It's a little bit chilly in Bakersfield today. Well, chilly for us, hardly chilly for those of you in other parts of the world. So, are you ready for the second read? Okay, Quiet Evening. Hi, Anne. Quiet Evening by Louise Gluck. You take my hand, then we're alone in the life-threatening forest. Almost immediately we're in a house, Noah's grown and moved away. The clematis after 10 years suddenly flowers white. More than anything in the world, I love these evenings when we're alone together. The quiet evenings in summer, 
the sky is still white at this hour. So Penelope took the hand of Odysseus, not to hold him back, but to impress this peace on his memory. From this point on, the silence through which you move is my voice pursuing you. Ah, the words of Louise Gluck. As I read that second time, a gentleman walked past, looked kind of confused about what was going on here. <laughs> a woman talking into her iPad, leaning against a tree. Poetry or something? This is the joy of reading poetry in the park, especially at unexpected parks, right? <laughs> so um, I just want to tell you one small story before we go for today and for the weekend is um, that it must have been Wednesday, maybe Tuesday. No, it was Wednesday because I read Robert Frost. And I was in a park um, in Oildale, which is not a very wealthy or privileged or cultured part of Bakersfield. And um, I was kind of in a rundown park and I was reading Robert Frost. Some of you may have seen that. And um, as I was reading, you know, when you're reading a poem, you don't stop because people come through. And there were a, a group of three students, looked like they were probably junior high or high school. And um, they were chattering away and they heard me reading Robert Frost. And they shifted. They stopped talking. And the expressions on their faces said, that they somehow got it. They got the road not taken suddenly. It was it was one of these magical moments <laughs> that poetry provides, even when, or especially when we're least expecting it. So your writing prompt one last time, and then we'll be gone till Monday. Although I may do some bonuses this weekend. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing this weekend, so. Um, but definitely we'll be back Monday. But your writing prompt for today to take you throughout the weekend perhaps is more than anything in the world, I love these dot dot dot. So contemplate that. Walk around with it. Consider it for the rest of the day or the next couple days. And then set your timer. Sit down and write. Stream of consciousness style. See what you come up with. Perhaps you'll write an essay or a poem or a memory will surface. Oh, thank you so much for being here. It's such a delight to read poetry with you and to create with you. My name is Julie Jordan Scott and my work is all about inspiring artistic rebirth because the world is waiting for your words. You know that, right? The world is waiting for your voice, for your unique way of saying and writing and being. And that's what we work on here. We work on breathing life into your next project. So have a glorious rest of your day. Have a great weekend. Tweet me, be in touch, and we will always enjoy the next time we see one another.